Hello, my name is Will Carrara, and I am the lead backend developer for the OpenET API. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to retrieve pre-computed field boundary data using the subset of endpoints from the OpenET API. When I say pre-computed boundary data, I mean the field level data that you see on explore.etdata.org, which is pre-computed for the last five years. Each of these polygons has a unique ID, and we're gonna to have to start with getting a list of those that we wanna extract. So in the documentation under API reference and geodatabase, you'll see the field IDs endpoint. We're gonna draw a polygon in red and retrieve the corresponding field IDs, which are blue. Now just note that if the red polygon that we draw intersects even slightly, you will retrieve that field ID. So make sure you're drawing carefully. If I head over to the Swagger interface, again, I've already authorized my API key in the upper hand right, right hand corner, uh, I can use the metadata and uh, IDs endpoint in the geodatabase section. So I'll use a longitude latitude separated list of coordinates. And when I query the API, I'll see a file called fieldidentifiers.json.zip. I can download this. And again, once I open it up, I will be able to see the list of field IDs. So once I open it, I'll see this list here, which I can copy and paste to my clipboard. And then I'll switch back to use the next endpoint. So we're gonna get some metadata from these field IDs. So we can do this by pasting in our list of field IDs under the metadata endpoint. And again, whoop, it looks like I missed a comma here. Oh, sorry, I missed a bracket. So I can paste this in and I will see that I can download a metadata file again, and I'll open this up. And when I open this file, what I will see is a list of the uh, crop type attributes for the last five years for every field ID, as well as the area in hectares and the last time that this field was modified. Now, I might wanna create a map, so I need to do a GeoJSON for this. So this is where the metadata boundaries endpoint comes in handy. Again, we'll paste in our field IDs, hit execute, and we'll be able to extract a GeoJSON type file from this so that we'll have the longitude latitude coordinates for all of the field IDs. Once I've downloaded that, I'll be able to open it up and we can see that this file will be in the standard GeoJSON format. So we'll see that there's a feature collection for every individual feature, you'll have your field ID. Uh, each one will be a polygon type geometry with the coordinate list here. So we can use that later if we would like to. Lastly, we may want to retrieve time series data. So that is the time series endpoint down here. And again, we can list, uh, include our list of field IDs that we want to extract. And what's nice about the geodatabase is we can include multiple models and variable combinations. So I could say I would like data for SIMS, I would like data for the ensemble, and maybe data for PT uh, JPL and get all of these model data as well as both ET, and I would also like the precipitation from GridMet, and I can even throw in NDVI as well. Here again, I've just said, I just want a year's worth of monthly data as a CSV. So once I extract this, uh, whoops, somewhere I missed some quotes. Uh, so we can see that I missed, whoops, I did not put in uh, the geometry when I pasted this in, so I can just fix this real quick. And I'll say, whoops, that is the field IDs. So that's just a copy and paste error there. And then I'll pass, whoops, pass that list. So now when I execute that, I shouldn't get an error message and I'll be able to see the CSV download in just a minute once that finishes. So here I'll see again, my field IDs, uh, there's gonna be a collections column, which is gonna say the different collections. So whether it's Landsat and DVI, Sims ET, uh, et cetera, and then Ensemble ET, and then the value in millimeters. So the geodatabase pre-computes things in the metric system. So that is how it's stored. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.